Hello everyone, it's Kyla again, and no, I am not here to sing another request. Uh, much to the joy of my cat. <laughs> so He's sitting with me on the couch over here, and he hates my singing voice with a passion. So he's such a critic. The second I start to sing, whether it's for a practice or whether it's for a recording, he is out the door. And I don't see him for quite some time after that, so I guess you can't please everybody. Um, but... Uh, yeah, it's New Year's Eve, and I actually posted a joke on my Facebook page just recently. Um, it was a little meme that I thought was hilarious, and it said, Not quite sure what I'm going to wear to the couch this New Year's Eve. Well, this is it. I got my little party hat, I got my dangly earrings, and my nice little top. So, <laughs> now we know what I'm going to be wearing on my couch, which is what I'm on right now. Um, I just wanted to take this time to wish everybody a happy New Year. I know that 2020 was uh, pretty much a rough year for every single person on the planet. Um, but, uh, I, I really hope that 2021 is good for everybody. And I'd like to, you know, take a little bit of reflection for myself on 2020. I noticed that when everything started to close down and everything started to get canceled, I was like, okay, you know what? I'm going to take this time since I've got the time now and I'm going to look inward and I'm going to work on me. And that's what I did. I worked on myself spiritually, emotionally, uh, intellectually, and physically. And I just kept doing it. I wanted to continue to learn and to continue to grow and to continue to better myself and look inward at the person I am and the person I am becoming. And the crazy thing is, is the deeper I looked within myself, the more I liked what I saw. And as insane as this sounds, 2020 was the year that I learned to love myself which is a huge thing for me to say because I spent a lifetime disliking myself. I'm not going to get into it, but for me to turn around and say, I love the person I have become and I'm continuing to grow into, that's huge. And I really hope that everybody at some point in their life can get to that point because it is an amazing feeling. And I just think it's weird that 2020 was the year that I decided that that was going to happen for me. <laughs> so, um, But, you know, despite the fact that Every play that I was in was canceled and every, you know, job, photography job that I had for a while was canceled. Um, I managed to keep busy. You know, I started the singing videos on YouTube and basically I just did it kind of as a joke, just something to keep my sanity because all the plays that I had been doing, all the performing I was doing was done. Like I couldn't do it anymore because they canceled everything. Uh, <laughs> um, so I thought, you know, once every couple of weeks I'll, I'll sing a song, what the hell, you know, and, and just post it on YouTube and maybe somebody will Justin Bieber me and I'll get famous, you know, that's not going to happen. But I thought, you know, what the heck, I like to sing, so let's keep singing. And then one of my friends, he's like, you know what, I, I, I have a song, I have a request, a song I'd like you to sing. And I'm like, well, I don't really do requests, but yeah, okay, sure, why not? So I sang that request and then another person asked for a request and another person, at first it was just friends and family asking for little songs that they'd like to hear me sing. And then it was strangers and I was flabbergasted that people wanted to hear me sing songs. I was stunned and elated and honored and still am. I'm still stunned that people want to hear me sing songs. Um, and I'm so grateful. And it snowballed into something where I was just doing every couple of weeks just cause to now I do it every single week. You know, I, I'm singing a request every week. And because I got so many requests, I wanted to do stuff that I wanted to do, just me, for fun. So that's why I have the Flashback Fridays now. So I do two songs a week, you know, sometimes only one if I don't want to do Fridays. But, you know, like, it's crazy. And I'm so grateful and it makes me so happy because I'm an entertainer and I want to entertain. So, you know, thank you so much. Thank you for making my 2020 very interesting that way. I sung songs that I would never have thought to sung. I would never have thought to sing a Gordon Lightfoot song. I would never have thought to sing anything by Neil Young. And I can honestly say 100%, I would never, ever have sung the G.I. Joe theme song from the movie, the 1987 movie. So <laughs> it was a lot of fun. <laughs> I would, but I can honestly say I would never have sung that one. So <laughs> thank you so much. Um, and as for photography in, I mean, my commissions may have dwindled because of, uh, you know, COVID-19, but I'm still working on it. I work on my photography every single day, whether I'm taking pictures, whether I'm editing pictures, you know, I am always, always, always working on photos. Um, the two main passions in my life are photography and performing. 
I'd have to say, if you have it on a scale of 1 to 10, photography is 10, and performing is like 9.5. So they're like damn near neck and neck, you know, like they are the two main drives of my life. And if I lost them, I'd be, I'd be pretty sad. So, um, yeah. I'm, and, and, and as it is now, I have been getting some commissions. December was rough. I didn't have anything, but I've got stuff coming up. So that makes me very happy. And I'm, I'm happy to be selling some work again. So, yay. Um, to add to that, I've been writing lyrics. I've been writing poetry. I've been writing stories. I've been keeping busy. Um, I've made new friends. I've let old friends go that, you know, I was no longer good for them and they were no longer good for me. So we've parted ways and that's fine. Um, I've kept in touch with I mean, some old friends. Um, thank God for social media that way. That way I was able to keep in touch with my friends. Um, I have one friend I haven't seen in a year and I miss him terribly. And, uh, very excited I'll be able to see him soon so yay um made some friends I've actually made um become very close to the forerunner of the band Loose Morals it's a band this is their shirt follow them on Facebook music is medicine and life is music so they're a good band I really enjoy their stuff and I really enjoy the forerunner he's a very very good person so um I also did my very first podcast this year um I did one with uh, the Boneyard, which I have a t-shirt for them too. So <laughs> I have a t-shirt for the Boneyard. It's a Facebook page. Go and like them on Facebook, the Boneyard. And on the back, play it loud, play it proud. So I was had fun with that one, talked with that guy for hours. It was That was a blast. I had such a good time with him. Um, and uh, yeah. So for me, 2020 has not been a complete and total dismal failure. And I hope everybody at least had moments where, I mean, of course, not the whole year was good, obviously, no. But I hope everybody at least had moments where they could have joy. Because I think that's important, um, is to be happy. And um, so, yeah, I, I have a toast that I'd like to make. It, it, really is just mocha frappuccino but I put it in a wine glass <laughs> I might have some wine later on it's a little bit early for me and uh, I know as soon as midnight strikes I know that everything's not going to get better automatically it's not going to be like hey it's midnight 1201 COVID-19 has gone I mean of course that we're still going to have to work on things it's still going to be a little cranky and everything for a little while but if we can just sort of say, okay, 2020 is done, it's in the past, let's leave it in the past and let's move on and try to improve from here on in and let's all find joy and happiness. So here's my toast is happy new year and may 2021 be good to all of us. Yum. I love mocha frappuccino. <laughs> Well, I'm going to get going. I'm going to turn on some Rammstein and celebrate the new year that way. Bye, everyone. Happy New Year.